We don't really think about it. It's just always there. While astronauts have fine-tuned living without it, if we're going to inhabit space for longer periods of time, it would be nice to bring it with us. Can we create our own gravity? I'm Ren Schmidt, and we're exploring the science behind for all mankind. We wanted to kick off this season with an event that felt like a ship getting hit by a tidal wave in space. To do that, we needed the artificial gravity on Hotel Polaris to go haywire. But first, why would our Earth orbit hotel need artificial gravity? Well, our bodies are used to Earth's gravity and knowing up from down. If we go too long without it, we'll suffer some unpleasant side effects like changes in blood flow, impaired vision, and big losses in our bone and muscle mass. All to say, we don't want to make it back from space with blurry vision and brittle bones. So how could we create gravity? One way is to, well, spin. Rotating at high speeds generates a force that effectively simulates the pull of gravity. To match Earth's gravity of 1G, a ship with a radius of 735 feet would need to spin at 2 RPM. But a smaller ship, one-fourth the size, would need to spin at 4 RPM, twice as fast. The smaller the radius, the faster it's got to spin. The space wedding is going great, until the hotel takes some damage, causing it to spin faster. Increasing the ship's gravity beyond what humans are used to on Earth. 1G increases to 2Gs. That feels like doubling your own weight. And then it keeps spinning faster. 3Gs. 4Gs. Now standing up isn't an option, and it's harder to breathe when you're pinned down on your back. Fortunately for the guests, there were some heroes at the wedding who slowed the spin and saved the day. We're a little ways off from generating artificial gravity like we see in the show. For now, astronauts complete daily resistance training to stay healthy in zero G. But if we set our sights on making a new home in space, unlocking artificial gravity can unlock new possibilities for mankind. <laughs>